This video is on core pulmonale. Core pulmonale is the right heart failure, which is caused by chronic hypertension of the pulmonary arteries. These are some of the causes of core pulmonale, which can be divided into a few categories. For example, lung diseases, pulmonary vascular disease, thoracic cage abnormality, neuromuscular disease, hypoventilation, and also cerebrovascular disease. The clinical features of core pulmonale include symptoms like dyspnea, where the patient complains of difficulty in breathing, fatigue, and also syncope. Signs of core pulmonale are cyanosis and tachycardia, raised JVP with prominent A and V waves, right ventricular heave, loud P2, and also on auscultation of the heart, we can hear a pan-systolic murmur, which suggests for tricuspid regurgitation. And we can also might hear early diastolic Graham still murmur. On abdominal examination, we can look out for hepatomegaly and also edema can be seen on the legs. These are some of the investigations to detect core pulmonale. Full blood count will show high hemoglobin and hematocrit levels due to secondary polycythemia. Arterial blood gas analysis will show hypoxia, and it could be with or without hypercapnia. Chest x-ray, we can look for enlarged right atrium and right ventricle, and also prominent pulmonary arteries, which is shown in this picture over here. For ECG, we can look for P pulmonale, right axis deviation, and also right ventricular hypertrophy signs. These are the classic signs that can be seen in core pulmonale. For treatment of this condition, we treat the underlying cause, for example, if it is due to lung diseases like COPD and also pulmonary infections, we will treat according to the cause. And also treat the respiratory failure. In acute situation, we can give oxygen if the PaO2 is less than 8 kPa. Then we monitor the ABG and gradually increase the oxygen concentration if the PaCO2 is stable. In patients who have COPD causing this core pulmonale, LTOT, which is long-term oxygen therapy, will increase the survival. And this LTOT is given for around 15 hours per day. Patients with chronic hypoxia, when clinically stable, should be assessed for LTOT as well. Besides this, we also treat the cardiac failure with diuretics, such as furosemide. And other alternative drugs is, for example, spironolactone. We also consider venesection if the hematocrit is too high, which is more than 55%, and consider heart-lung transplantation if the patient is young. The prognosis of core pulmonale is poor, where 50% of the patients will die within the next 5 years. That's all for this video. Thank you.